little George, I have to leave. Debbie, I have to leave. But don't worry. Amen. Because greater works you'll do. Because I'll be in you. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Actually, Debbie, what was it? About a year ago. This next week, a year ago, you got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Greater is yet to come through you, Debbie. Yeah. And it's through that Holy Spirit that God prepares us to do greater through the Holy Ghost. Amen. You remember that moment that was yesterday, don't you? Nobody forgets that moment. Yeah. Right. Nobody forgets to get the Holy Ghost. Nobody forgets to get baptized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's through that. Amen. Greater is yet to come, Sacramento Valley. Greater is yet to come. Yeah. Not only did Jesus call us, he called us to do greater things in this world. I'm expecting... Forgive me, church. I'm expecting this church to be a church of miracles, yeah, signs, yeah, and wonders. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting this church to be a light that's set on a hill that cannot be hidden, yeah. that will impact Vassar, that will impact Franklin, that will yeah. impact Birch Run, yeah. that will impact the whole Bay region. Yeah. Yeah. Because of why? Because Jesus lived inside of us yeah. and was right. shining yeah. that light. Yeah. Yeah. You might be saying, how in the world Am I going to do that? Right. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. I still question it, right? I still question I wake up in the morning, I preach to you with all this faith, and I'm thinking, he's going to do it. Yeah. And then I have trouble just hitting my alarm and getting out of <laughs> bed. And I, how am I supposed to preach to thousands and reach this world? It's one conversation. I remember this moment. Maybe my wife remembers this. It's conversation at restaurants when the waiter picks you up, and they, they know that something's different. I don't know how that, I didn't say one thing about church. Mm. But this waiter just started talking about God. And I'm like, we're here. Right. Might as well start talking about yeah. it. I, I, that, that restaurant was packed, babe, wasn't it? She's like, I can't believe my wife to pay attention. <laughs> I need more props up here. <laughs> that, that restaurant was packed, okay? And this waiter sat down and had this conversation with us. Like, I was the only person he was serving. And he was, he was pleading his guts out to me. I'm like, man, mm. church, it's moments like that that we're shining our light. Yeah. Amen. It's going to be easy in these end times. It's going to be easy to open up these things. It, you might be wondering, Austin, how can I tell people about Christ? How can I? He, he'll send people. Yeah. He said, I'll give you the words to say. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Austin, I don't know what you're dealing with in your life, but God is about to do Amen. mighty things for you. Amen. Walk through that door. You see, we need to be the light of the world. Oh, yeah. Greater is yet to come. Church, we need to start believing that. Greater is yet to come. Greater is yet to come in Saginaw Valley United Church. You know what? I believe greater, one of the things, is through our unity. Yes, because sir. we believe this one message. Yes, and we believe that it doesn't matter if you're white, black, red, yellow, right. purple. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. matter. The, the Bible I read is a multicultural yeah. and a multi-generational. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're three, Levi. It doesn't matter if you're 99. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, just not 99. Old. <laughs> it, it's a multi-age, multi-generational, multi-diverse. That's what Saginaw Valley right. is. Right. I had the pleasure of going on a missions trip to Canada, to Toronto. And I went to this church that was super diverse. Uh -huh. And the pastor was like, yeah, this is probably all new to you, right? Yeah. This, you know, your church at home is, I'm like, no. I'm home, baby. Right. I was like, give me the mic. Like, this is my church. This is a multicultural. Yeah. That's what, this is where the power comes from. Amen. That's what's going to reach this city of Sacramento, yeah. this surrounding area. Yeah. I believe greater is yet to come. I believe this church is going to impact all the surrounding cities. I believe it starts Amen. with us, though. Amen. Amen. Forgive me, Pastor, but the days of a pastor just doing all the soul winning is over. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. The, the day of a pastor doing all the door knocking is over. Yeah. It's the church that is going to impact yeah. this right. world. Amen. It's the church that is going to lock the revival. Woo. It's not a one-person revival. It's a whole church yeah. revival. Yeah. Matthew 5 and 16 tells us, Let your light so shine before men, Mm -hmm. that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. That's right. Oh, man. There's nothing in that, that verse that says you need to work really hard. You need to do this and do that. It says, let your light so shine. Yeah. That's good. That's if we're so filled up with Jesus, 
there's not, it's not going to be hard to tell who you are. Just like that day, and those bad guys were following that star. This is my star. I can't even see this so bright. Just like that day, there are 2022 years ago, they were following a star that was so bright. That's how bright we need to be with our belief. With our faith, Joel, with what we believe in, right. they should notice from our outside appearance that there is something different yeah. about you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Church, this is God. Let's get, let's get to my main point here. Forgive me. I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping up. I, I, I was given a time limit. I'm trying to stay there. Jesus does not walk this world anymore. I wish he did. I wish I could talk to him. I have so many questions. You ever just have weeks and you have many questions? Oh, yeah. I had to make an insurance claim on my house. I had sewer in my basement. Mm -hmm. My treadmill is broke. Oh. I lost my iP iP the AirPods outside in the snow. You ever had that day? No, that kind of week? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm just being rude. Yeah. I just wish, like, Lord, or the, the, the three wise men, right? I just want to ask, like, Lord, how many are there? Just tell us. Why didn't you just tell us in the Bible? Like, this book is already big enough. You gave me the whole genealogy of somebody I don't even need to know. But you couldn't tell me how many people were at the wise place. That's just me. I'm sorry. I, I have a list going. Sorry. Too bad I can't take my iPhone to heaven because I'm in multiple links. I mean, oh, yeah. good thing we have eternity. Yeah. Our goal should be to make him known, church. Mm -hmm. To make him no. known. Yeah. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And Jesus came and, said, and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, make disciples of all the nations. There you go. Multicultural again. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Ghost, which we know that name to be Jesus. Jesus. You know, Acts 4 and 12 tells me, no, there's no other name in heaven or on earth that we are saying. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jesus. Verse 20.